So last week we had a shoulder challenge, sliding your arms up the wall with your back against the wall as far as you can, see if you can improve it over one month. If you would like a different challenge, what one thing that I believe people are quite good at because it's easier to test is reaching down and then seeing if they can touch their toes. Oof, some people are good at it. Some people will should work on it. But this is something people practice. It's you know it's tangible. You can it's, you can visualize it. You can see it. You can test it. It's really easy. But what I would like people to also have a look at is we, we like muscle balance. So if you're flexible through the back, we want you also to have some flexibility through the front. So today we're just going to see about a, a balancing exercise to balance out the flexibility through our back, our hips, our hamstrings and our calves with the front of our body. So the front of our hips and our, our thighs, our quads. So that's this one here. So standing side on, if you can touch your toes, I would expect you to be able to pull. So hold your foot in your hand and make a nice straight line with that leg. So you shouldn't be bent at your hip. Your knee should not be in front of the standing knee. You should have a nice straight line without arching your back, poking your ribs out. So you should be able to stabilize your ribs on your pelvis and then pull that leg back so you can have a nice straight line here. And that's what we're gonna work on today. Test the other side as well. So as I said, aiming for a nice straight line down your body. No pressure in your back, no arching of your back. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could just practice that as a stretch every day, but I find you spend more time balancing than enjoying the stretch. And uh, I like to enjoy having a stretch as opposed to falling over. The first one we're gonna do is a few times each side. I like to use the couch. It's just that perfect, comfortable height for me. So, knee on the couch, toes on the back of the couch. If you've got a really high back, which these ones are not, you can use the side of the couch. So that would be like this. But for me, perfect height and it's nice and soft. So knee on the seat, foot on the top of the couch, and then just slowly pushing your hips forward until you get a nice gentle stretch down the front of your thigh. So all you need to do now is hold that there. So you're holding for, I like to go for a good, say, 30 seconds. You are not allowed to get pressure in your back because that means that you've just relaxed your back into it and it's just an awkward stress. So we want to keep the pressure in the front of your thighs. So you might squeeze your bum a little bit to help stabilize this area and keep the pressure on the front of your thigh. And you just hang out. Like I said, maybe 30 seconds. But what's more important is you keep repeating it on each leg, again and again. I like to go four times each side. I find that the first two are quite unpleasant. You know, muscles are tight, muscles are tense, they're holding on. But if you're nice and gentle, then after the first couple of times, they will start to relax and then you get to enjoy the third and the fourth round. So it's not all unpleasant. And then you're more likely to do it. Win-win. And other leg. So if you were to do this little routine each day for a month, I think you would notice some big improvements. It takes about a month with flexibility to maintain your improvements. You get a, uh, an immediate improvement from doing one single session. But to maintain those improvements long term, it takes about a month. It's kind of like learning a skill how to control that newfound flexibility. So your, your brain is comfortable with you having a little bit of extra movement and then you can keep it a bit of a trust exercise. So 
this is our second time on each leg. Moving on to our third round. So mobility, flexibility, control of your movement is important to make sure that you have, that you're able to, uh, to take pressure off of your joints. If you're really tight with more muscle imbalance, if you're really tight through the front and then loose through the back, it just creates an imbalance and it makes these awkward forces just when you're walking or walking, running, moving, climbing stairs, any activity, can direct those forces a little bit awkwardly and then you can might get sore hips or a sore back for, for no good reason. It's within your control to, uh, to best manage it. We have one more time on each leg. Hopefully it's feeling quite good now. So you can always just push that hip forward a little bit further if you would like to get more of a stretch or if you feel that you're not getting much of a stretch after the third round. You can also put your knee closer to the back of the couch. So then you're more vertical through your shin there's always ways you can have a play that you should still not be getting it through your back. Last time. The with Stretching, static, stretching like this, where you're holding a position for a longer period of time. It's much more comfortable when you are warm. So if you have been for a walk or had a game of tennis or anything at all that warms you up, it will feel more comfortable. If you just want a little shortcut, you could have a shower and then have a stretching session too. And you, you can stretch when you, you know, get out of bed. It just, I don't, I think it's as pleasant, as comfortable. Uh, it's harder to get the same benefits. So uh, I just find it's much more, much more pleasant when you're warm. All right, so this one, with our knee bent like that, is really good for our thighs, our quads. And then we're gonna come up a little bit higher into our hip flexors. So the ones that cross the front of our hip. So for this one, you can either do it on the ground, but while I'm here, I'm gonna use our comfortable couch. So a long step forward. So my foot that's on the ground is way past the middle of the couch. So it's probably another 40 centimeters in front of my knee. And here you just push your hip forward to get a stretch through the front of the hip, the one that's on the couch. Again, no pressure in your back allowed. So I'll show you another way you can do this on the other leg. Using a fancy cushion to look after our knees and then a nice long step forward and then pushing that hip forward until you get a limp, gentle stretch through the front of that hip. So again, we're going to do this one four times on each side. You can start with this one. I find it's more comfortable to do after the thigh 
quad stretch. So try not to lean your shoulders back, it gets really awkward. Try and think about moving your hips forward and staying quite tall through your back. I think if you start to lean your shoulders back, it's very hard not to put pressure on your lower back and it's against the rules. You don't have to hold for 30 seconds each time. It's really just what feels good, what feels good for you. So we've done two each side. So the second two, same thing. You're going to be pushing your hips forward, staying tight through your tummy, a little bit tight through your bum, hands on your head, and a little sideways lean just to open up the outside as well. Whopping sides, same thing. First getting into that hip stretch and then a little bit of a sideways lean. So you're trying to get the stretch on the front and side of that bottom hip. One more time on each side, doing well. Hopefully feeling good. And other leg, last time. Find that stretch and then that little bit of a lean. Okay, only one more thing to do. Retest. So, side on. Make sure you don't let your back go. And then, oh, look at that. 
You can even get it behind that knee now with a nice straight line. So it'll be back to normal tomorrow. But like I said, if you do it every day for about a month, you will feel a whole lot better. So that's, well, that to me feels wonderful. Something I should add to the daily routine. So last week we did a shoulder routine, similar thing, trying to get a mobility goal and then some things you can do to work towards it. This week, a hip mobility test and goal. So you can do both. You could do one, maybe one this month, one next month. Choose your own adventure.